to her magical power on the reality of world assurance for space class in a moral sense. You have talked about the relay the number of point, 0 0.999, something like that. Uh, but currently we are talking of humans in space. We want a reliability of one. Nothing less than one. Is it really the project of the reliability engineering associated with the human in space flight? Or there also it is 0.99998 something like that only and we are ready to forego the lives of people in the worst possible case and we can prove philosophically that nothing is possible to have a reliability of 100%. That is the first part of the question. The second you answer that you try to, I am not going to insist that you have to answer this. You can explore it if you don't have the answer now. I will answer sir, no problem. It will be dream of uh, any mission director that his system should not fail. So, actually Concorde aircraft itself if you take, till it failed everybody thought that human being has built a system which will never fail. Till it failed it was thought that Concorde is beyond failure. But it failed one day because the failure doesn't happen only due to, there are so many factors. One is the quality level of various parts that have gone in. But there is something called a process. So that process is something where the defects are latent. People would have done something if they have not known themselves that they have done an abuse. That is one. Or they may not be knowing that what he have done. Somebody is carrying a package. He would have got dropped. He may lift it again and take and drink. He may or may not be because in a very complex system like say even if you, uh, human uh, Gaganian mission you take. There will be somewhere something which is always theoretically possible that something is unreported or something. That is another process. Design itself, we are all doing within our available and another is constraints. No design is constraint proof. If you really want to build all the safeguards that we want, we cannot build a physical system. Definitely there will be constraints known. That's how the shuttle has failed. Otherwise, shuttle is never supposed to fail. Okay. So there are various things. So having said all that, there are various techniques, especially fault tolerant systems, what they were talking, or fault detection, isolation, or enhanced levels of redundancy using the products which are having only a heritage for highly critical systems like uh, manned missions. All these things are there. Even if I tell, yes, we will be able to build the systems, there are so many examples which we know that shuttle has failed, we know that Concorde has failed, so we know that uh, anything else also because all are made by us. So the goal is to reach towards one reliability of one, but there are so many, all these things, computations are assuming some assumptions. So as long as those assumptions are true only, all these computations are valid. But there is always a case where an assumption is violated. So in my personal view, Okay, I feel that uh, at least as of now we do not have a foolproof system and there are some things called single point failures which if it fails the mission will fail like structure or some mechanism even in the most uh, difficult or uh, in most critical application also but we assume that they don't fail based on their design and uh, test heritage but if it happens I think we will. hope I am closer to what we are looking for or I don't know. Okay. In summary, uh, it is not, although we aim at 100% uh, reliability, in practice it cannot be 100%, it is a wee bit less. Yes, sir. Then you can. yes. And the second part of my question will become redundant, so I can as well not ask it now. Hmm? Sorry, uh, you know about uh, five years back, uh, we had the uh, issue of Vedic Ujjan uh, Samyelan in Pune. And uh, of course, uh, Dr. Bhatkar, uh, he was the uh, chairman of that uh, you know, the proceedings there. During that uh, CSIR 
scientists made a presentation based on uh, what exactly uh, they had uh, done a research into the Vimana as per uh, what was, uh, you know, our scriptures, the ancient scriptures and ancient about Vimana. So they had worked on those materials, they had decoded all uh, the information and uh, created batteries for the Vimana, which they felt that it was a doable thing. And same way, one more important factor was the glass for the Vimana, which was again an important factor. So there were, there were a few things they mentioned that they had worked on uh, during uh, some two, three years' time. So my question to you is, yes, yeah, there is a lot of stress on Atmanirgar Bharat. So are, uh, is there a possibility of looking at that aspect also, to look uh, inwards for some of the solutions in the space technology? Definitely it is a good suggestion, but as I know, there is uh, no direct initiative like that, as I know, but definitely now oh, recently Chairman Isco has made a statement regarding our so many of our scientific things having a bearing uh, earlier in itself in India. So based on that, definitely and with the current insistence by the government also, future programs may come. Maybe Neil Kantam sir wanna, wants to add something. Another one is the idealistic condition that is moksha. Is it really possible? Because uh, the another thing what Neil Kantam was asking, 100% it is ideal. It may not be possible at all, and even in mobile communication, we call 6G and beyond zero latency. Is it possible? Uh, the thing is ideal. Hey, actually, I think zero latency is all uh, at present. I don't see that happen because uh, you know, at present, also it is a few hundred milliseconds. Uh, so. I mean, with 5G also. And yeah, think, I think beyond 5G and yeah, Even beyond 5G, I don't think we'll be able to reduce it to zero. Because latency is uh, intrinsic to the various systems uh, through which uh, the various uh, components of the mobile uh, system passes through. So I don't understand uh, any zero. But yes, as well as possible. But just to mention that even with this current uh, one, 25 uh, milliseconds, it is possible to perform robotic surgeries, which is which is quite mission critical in a way. And of course, in space also, it becomes critical. Of course, you can't use uh, 6G technology there, but I just wanted to mention that uh, this is uh, possible. This is possible to control it, but not bring it down to zero. That, no, that is idealistic. That is idealistic. Only marketing only. Yeah. That, that's true. True, true.